Welcome back. God, my voice sounds croaking already. Yeah. Welcome back to part. Whatever this is. I don't know what we're on. 16? No, um, Whatever part I put as a number on the start of this video, that's what part this is. I really don't know that. It's been like two weeks since I've done filming. People have been at work. I've been dying with my flu. Uh, and I'm still bummed up. But we're back. And Trevor's back. Well. We're back on the Supra. Today, uh, I'm not going to say it. But I would like it to run, so we have to do everything we need to do to get it to run. Which will be get the radiator in, get the coolant in, get the oil in, change the oil filter, put the gearbox fluid in, uh, connect the starter motor on. What else have we just said we need to do? Fluid. It was eight things in total. Yeah, but some of them Either way, there's like seven or eight things that we need to do to get it to run. Not be able to get it driving because we still have no clutch, as in no clutch pedal, and the clutch passes and there's not currently any either. Um, but yes, that's where we are now. It's only the second piece of video footage for this part already, and we've already not been able to start the car up yeah. because the belt we have, the brand new shiny auxiliary belt that we have, is too long. I ordered one which is supposed to be for cancelling the air conditioning, which means you don't need to put the air conditioning pump on. But no, they've sent me one with it. So the belt's too long. That's our old belt, which is too long. But it's all, it was already, it's, it's got its oil in, it's got its oil filter. It's still not ready to start, it has no radiator and coolant, but it's just, it was ready to put the belt on. But no, not today. Anywho, we have other things to do, so that's just his radiator business. What Chubber is currently doing is we're trimming off our rub rubbers that hold the radiator at the bottom because the new radio we've got radio radiator we've got is slightly bigger so we've chopped the rubbers because they used to be fatter it used to be like that so we've chopped them to drop the height of the radiator a bit but we also need to trim off the round edge of the back it should help us push the radiator back about five mil or so so it doesn't catch the front chassis so that's what he's currently doing that's the one I did, and he's finishing off the other one. I've also painted our radiator fan. It's currently sat in primer. It has a little paint run as well, so I just need to sort that out. Um, but it's just going black, just because it's going to look better than the horrible tacky, whitey, yellow stuff that it was. So, Well, both Chubber and me are a bit stunned at the moment. Yeah. I thought we had the wrong belt. We measured it against the old one, and there was like half an inch in it. If that. Yeah, if that. Um, Apparently the belt runs slightly different to previous, so in all fairness I can't remember how it ran. Um, but either way, the belt is on. And I'm very surprised. We know the fan's not on, I'm going to start it up without the fan and I, I, I don't care right now. The fan I'll be on for when it's on the road. But I'm still away, away from starting it up, I've just got pipes to do. But the belt is on, I'm very surprised at that. Yeah. Oh, we've also got power, oh, I don't, uh, we've got power steering fluid to put in as well. I suppose that's not necessary for starting up. No. no. Well, so. Well, <coughs> Either way, um, yeah, let's carry on with the radiator. Oh, I like the colour of that. Yeah, that's a very cool colour. Yes, we now have radiator on, bottom hose, top hose, nice shiny pulleys. Uh, starter motor is now connected. Tunnel slightly adjusted. Yeah, slightly adjusted. Yeah, very slightly. So what's left now then? Just that and gearbox oil? Gearbox oil, yeah. And yeah. the battery. Yeah, gearbox oil and battery and... Oh, and that earth as well. Oh yeah, and he's put earth on block around that side of the engine. And then hopefully, might be any chance of trying to start it. And then bleed this coolant system up. So, I'm currently sat down waiting for Jubba to put a bolt in because it's not the easiest bolt to get to. That's why he's on his back and he can't see what he's doing. No. He's doing it all by, like, just touch. Nice and sunny outside. So, the start from the Oh, always. That's a weird sounding bird. No. Oh, it's a starling. Um, so. Gearbox on your left, coolant's in. <coughs> Obviously, it's not bled up yet. 
Oh, we also need to put the interior trim panel back on that's got the immobiliser. You don't have to put it back on, you just put it in the car. Yeah, but you know what I mean, you've got to connect the immobiliser back on. <coughs> and the battery. Yeah. And the battery charger. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Cool. You alright? Yeah. I'm just getting blood back to me, hand. So it's sort of like a car. Looks like an engine now. No, it has a radiator in it. Looks <laughs> like a car. It looks like an AM car, it's not as a chubber. Yeah. Chris was on about painting the engine cover with the engine paint. You mean engine cover? Not engine cover. Uh, exhaust manifold, that one there. Mean the exhaust piece here. What did I just say? Exhaust manifold. Well, that's what it is. Heat shield manifold cover, same difference. Brought his own, attached to the manifold. I mean, to begin with, he said engine cover. I know, I know, I got that. I know, I got that bit. I want to paint the engine cover. Ah! That clip shot. Well, anywho, I shall come back to you when we're doing something else next. It's probably Gearbox as well. Look, you're doing our website. Look, you can have a hoodie like us. <laughs> right, um, we'll just put two bottles of Gearbox oil in the box. And you can see it looks like a banana. Because that's how hard it was to squeeze through the pipe. And ugh. Yeah, that was annoying, wasn't it? Very. Yes. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for Toby Bloomfield for coming to join our forum after being a YouTube subscriber for like a year and a half or whatever it is. Uh, he's watched probably every video we've ever done and commented on probably nearly all of them. So he's finally joined the forum and he's bought some stickers. So as you can see, we have, although you can't really see them, there we go, we have stickers. There's three different kinds of stickers in there, four different kinds. I'm going to be nice and I'm going to chuck some extra ones and I'm going to send them in the post. Because, you know, he bought two and I'm going to give you four, six, I'm going to give you six, six stickers. This is what happens. Come and join our forum. Buy some stickers. Support us. So Trouba has connected this temporary our immobiliser back in there, so we can turn the immobiliser off. Battery is currently on charge. Um. Yeah, everything has oil. Everything has coolant. Levels have been checked. Um, I'm just going to set this camera up on a stand, and you will genuinely watch the first time we try and start this engine. Um. Since it was stuck out? Since it was stuck out, yeah. We haven't tried it yet. Honestly, look, bleed is still off. Um, yeah, so I'm going to set this down on the, on the stand. Here's my stand. Um, and I'll just leave it recording while we're looking around. We'll do a bit of running around, checking for leaks and noises, if it even runs. Because it'll be so disordered, it won't. And then we'll have to, it'll probably just go clack, or might not even do anything at all. Um, but fingers crossed for us. It's not going to be back to it, you say my start motor is fucked, it's not, because it's not trying to spin, it's just, click, it's just flicking it out, it's not actually spinning is it? Yeah. It should try and fight with that, because I fired with less. Crap. Excuse me, are you serious just asking that question? Turn it back. Look on the wall. Turn it back. And I've got four more in the freaking chest, so you know. What? Four more in the chest. So take your pick which hammer you want. <laughs> That's the first thing he bought. <laughs> Is that on record then? Yeah. He just said the door, I've got to take mobilise off every time.
turn that off. Exciting news. It's time to start the Supra. Take the immobiliser off. Take the immobiliser off. Immobiliser off. Key in. <gasps> it runs! It runs good. Listen to that baby fan! I'm so happy, dude. I am. I was running. My light's wobbling above my head. <laughs> okay, we have started it up. It has its exhaust on. It's a lot quieter than last time when you guys heard it. Oh, you can see, look, the exhaust is on. It's chug, 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 chug. <coughs> wow, it's a bit rich. Taste it. I see, that's the reason why. I'm going to match it. Yeah, the reason I'm going to be right. Well, it's running, it's a lot quieter. Next time, hopefully in the video, you see us with the timing light, ba 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 bam So we'll be able to time it up perfectly by adjusting the distributor. We've already had a little play, and it's not too far off. Um, but obviously it's not exact, so we'll sort that out, hopefully in the next video. And we'll try and get the clutch and the brake pedals done in the next video too. So then we can actually go and drive it on the garden. So, thank you very much, people. Like, subscribe, and join us in another video. Whatever part that will be. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what this one is yet. Yeah, me neither. No. So, down below us, in the description, there is links to our website. Come and join us, check it out, and come and buy some stickers too. Uh, if not, we'll see you on Facebook. Peace, dudes. Yeah.